Hi, my name is Mike Hamilton, Director of Product Marketing here at 21CT. In this screencast, I'm really excited to give you the first public look at 21CT Torch, our brand new, fully hosted, secure software platform purpose-built to make data analytics accessible really to anyone. In this demo, I'm going to walk you through a Medicaid fraud, waste, and abuse use case uh, as an investigator. In this case, maybe I'm particularly interested in a provider. Maybe it's Delphia. And as I type straight into the search box, rather than have to go into specific fields, it's searching across my entire data set and automatically bringing me back those providers that match that search, whether or not it's a provider, recipient, location, things of that nature. In other situations, I may actually be looking for leads that I want to go in and uh, do some investigation on. In that case, we have our analytics down here on the right, and I've got five populated here. And what we define analytics as is really just a question or set of questions you want to ask of your data and get back not just some names and some, uh, and some scores, but even a little bit more context beyond that. So I'm going to run the Providers by Billing Activity Analytic. Uh, we'll just run it on the ambulance. You can see it's guiding me through as I'm navigating. And it's going to pull back the data set view. The data set view is just a high level way to view those answers all from one place. Uh, I've got some filtering capability I can do, uh, specialty, county. And what you'll notice just beneath that is what we call always on analytics. These are analytics always running in the background, giving you that next level of insight of things that you probably wanted to know, but didn't want to have to go manually ask for from three or four different uh, disparate systems. In this case, the number of providers that came back, uh, claim header information, recipient information, some averages. And then beneath that, I can actually see the table of all the providers uh, with some summary information, their counties, their claims information. Of course, I can sort on any of these columns. And I even have access immediately to their case histories, so I know uh, I have an idea of what we knew about these providers uh, from a fraud, waste, and abuse perspective before. From here, I can click on any of these providers and navigate to the profile page, which again, you'll notice immediately high-level insight with the always-on analytics giving you case history, connectedness to other providers with case history, uh, procedure code, uh, procedure summary information, Medicaid claims paid history. I've, I can, of course, zoom in on these, uh, interact with this data to look at it as I see fit, not the way some legacy system tells me I should. Just beneath that, I can actually see associated locations with the provider, basically where they're practicing from. I can click on these locations and immediately see, again, more always on analytics about this location. How many providers are associated with that location, uh, claims paid to this particular address, as well as integrated geospatial mapping with Google Street View to show me, look, this is an empty lot. Uh, probably not somewhere an uh, ambulance company with 79 providers would be operating from. So I can navigate back to my previous profile page, and I can actually take this particular provider straight to what we call the graph view. The graph view is an interactive and dynamic way to look at the people, places, providers, locations, and the relationships uh, between all of those things, whether or not that's bank accounts, uh, addresses, uh, case history, associated providers. And I can interact and navigate uh, through this graph view. I can zoom in and out. I can drag things, uh, move them around. And not only can I see them, but I can also interact directly with it. So in this case, I have a uh, provider that has a bank account, uh, which I've probably gotten through, uh, through the Medicaid enrollment process. And I can actually interact directly with it and pull back uh, what bank that account is associated with it, or even if there's other providers. And again, the always on analytics giving me the, the number of results I would get back from that question without me having to actually even go do it. So I can expand and see there's a completely different provider uh, that's associated via bank account with the original provider we could look at. And of course, I can continue to navigate directly through. Uh, I can go back to profile pages um, and really just put together the pieces of uh, the story that I'm trying to build on a particular provider, uh, a location, or a, a, or a case. And essentially what I've done here with 21CT Torch is taking that original lead all the way to the behavioral context and the associations that you need to create a actionable investigative finding uh, that you can move forward to uh, prosecution, recovery, or policy change.